Hello, and thank you for joining me. In this session, I just want to share with you a little side project that I've been working on. This is a Sudoku solver. So instead of me narrating a lot about how it works, I actually just want to show you this thing in action. So the first thing we want to do is we want to find a puzzle. So let's see. We will check the World Wide Web. Here we go. First one looks good to me. We have a choice between easy and me. Oh, well, let's go with evil. Let's see what we have here. Now, be patient with me. I'm going to type this in. So we're going to see. We're going to go eight. And you know what? I'm going to pause the video so you do not have to watch me type this in. So hold tight for a second. Okay, I've typed in my values. Let me check. First row. Looks like we got everything. All right, so we got all our values in. And what I want you to notice is right here, time to completion. So let's go ahead and run this thing. This is an evil Sudoku problem. Sudoku. Oh, it's done. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these numbers and I'm going to punch them in here and see how they come out. Okay, we're going to punch in the last two numbers. Went ahead and skip some of this for you. So here's my solution over here. And let's see, how am I doing? We'll ask them, how am I doing? Looks like I'm doing pretty well. Let's go ahead and try again. So if you notice, this puzzle only took us 0 0.07 seconds to complete. So we need to find something. And that was evil. So let's see. World's hardest Sudoku. Hmm. Let's see if we can. Let's see if we can crack it. Now, let me say this. is I've tried working some of these harder problems. And I know for a fact that the solver will not solve this instantly. But I'm going to go ahead and plug this in. And again, I want you to pay attention to the timer over here. But first, I'm going to clear it. There we go. We've cleared our entries. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter these numbers in. And we're going to see how it comes out. And this one is rated 11 out of 5. All righty. Let's see how we do. OK, this particular puzzle is considered the world's hardest. And it was put together by Arto Incala, a Finnish mathematician. So apparently, he also did another one some time back. Uh, that he referred to as AI Escargo, which was his first uh, attempt at making a difficult Stuco problem. So again, let's double check our numbers, make sure everything lines up. And again, I want you to note the start time is zero. This will take a while. We're looking at 873873692. All right, let's give it a whirl. So what I'll probably do is pause it after I start this, and then I'll check back in on it. Now, something to keep in mind while this is running is that different computers are going to run at different speeds. So yours may go faster, it may go slower. So just something to consider. All right, so while I was waiting for this code to run, I went ahead and looked up the original article where I found the Sudoku puzzle. And here it is right here. This is Arto Nkala, the Finnish mathematician who came up with the problem. And if we look down below, we see or the original problem that we ran. And I uh, went ahead and ran it over here. And what I want you to notice is that it took my solver 29 minutes, basically half an hour. That is ridiculously slow. Um, I could say some of that had to do with the fact that Visual Basic for Application is a slow language. It is a slow running code. That is partly true. A lot of it had to do with how I structured it. Whenever I kind of came up with the idea and the concept, I was originally trying to create something to help a person solve it. So long story short, put together very inefficiently. Uh, however, it did work. Took half an hour, so now the goal is to make it better. We know it works, now we gotta make it better. And you're gonna find with a lot of your projects, that's what you're constantly doing. You do it, then you make it better. So in this case, we have a concept. The hard part is solving the problem. We know that we can, and it works. So now we need to make it better. Now, here we are over here. This is our original puzzle over here, our Sudoku puzzle. We see that it's 11 out of five, or it's just rated 11 ridiculously high. And now we want to see if the answer matches. So we go over here, and here's the answer over here. And what I'll do is I'll let you go ahead and peruse through it and see if I'm right or wrong with my answer. In the meantime, if you enjoyed this video, please click like and share with others. Thank you.